Looks like we're even, sis. Wore her hair like this and she dressed up in the old-fashioned dress. Yes, actually, I do remember it. I thought maybe she was getting too involved in this biological family research stuff. So what does this photograph mean? If it's just an old family photo, why wouldn't she share it with us? And if it's not a distant relative, then... Well, it could just be Lily. It could be Lily in a period costume. But why? Well, whoever this is, it's just... Another piece of the puzzle that keeps getting stranger and more complex. I'm reading your mind, Holden. There's something else. Come on, tell me what it is. Jack told me that two Atlantic City police officers interrogated Lily yesterday. He said that she ended up breaking down and he had to cut the questioning short. Jack had to tell you? Lily didn't tell you? When I asked her about it, she got totally defensive and said that the police treated her like a criminal. That is very unlike Lily. The worst part is there's something else that she won't even talk to me about. The Atlantic City police say that there is a showgirl oh, at the casino where Lily stayed. It looks exactly like Lily. How do you know that? Because of that. I don't believe this. How many Lilies are there? It's about Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah, weird ones. Do you think you suspect something? That you're Rose? <laughs> Not a chance. He keeps talking about how committed he is to me. Committed? Now you're barking up the right padded wall. Listen, Mrs. W grilled me after you two split. She and Holden think you are certifiable. <laughs> what are you talking about? They think that you went to Atlantic City and had some kind of breakdown that caused you to be some showgirl wannabe. You're kidding me. <laughs> no, they think you're playing with half a deck. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Play nuts? Lily. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Could you please explain these to me? Please. All right, we've got to keep him from going into respiratory and cardiac arrest. Please. Please, God, please let my baby be all right. Come on, Green. Parker. What's wrong with my son? Let me see him. I need to see him. Oh, Parker. Watch what happened, side. honey? Okay. It's gonna be all right, baby. Mommy's here. Don't you be afraid, honey. Mommy's right here. I love you so much. Come on, boy. Come on, Parker, breathe. Parker's breathing on his own. Oh, you're such a big boy now. Yeah, no boy. Jim. He's so handsome, so brave and strong. I think Carly tipped the scales. Oh, Carly. Mommy's back. And I'm never gonna leave you again. What happened, Hal? What happened to my son? Huh. I'm gonna go down to the cafeteria. Do you want anything, Hal? Do you no. want anything, Jen? No, no, that's okay. I should probably stay and explain this to Carly. I don't think that's a very good idea. Could I have a word alone with you, please? No. I would be very careful if I were you about how you explain this to Carly. Jen's going through enough as it is. I'll do my best. Lord I am I. counting on it. Jennifer looked upset. Was she hurt in the accident? Carly, there's something you should know. Um, Parker's injuries, the more serious ones that required surgery, they could have been avoided. How? Jennifer and her boyfriend took Parker for a ride in the car. And they didn't put him in the car seat. Parker was thrown from the car. 
disappearing for months and you have the nerve to go after my daughter? Barbara, not now. Oh, I've held back for months, held because of Parker, but not anymore. Carly wants to know what happened here. She wants to really know what's happening, and I'm happy to tell her. You did this. You abandoned your son. I never meant to abandon You dumped him no at my place, place like a sack of dirty laundry. You say that you're, you're his mother, and, and Hal keeps reminding me that you're his real mother. We are no more a real mother than a reptile that lays its eggs and slithers into the bushes. Barbara, that's I enough. have just begun, Hal. A real mother. I want to know who this real mother was at 2 o'clock in the morning, every morning when I was changing and feeding her son. What's his favorite story? What's his favorite piece of music? Do you know anything about his life? Did you nurse him through colds and through fevers? Did you? Did you sing him to sleep when he had ear infections or night terrors? Never Shut up, Curly. You were pursuing your career, your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you dumped him in my lap. And I have grown to love that little boy. And I love him so much that it's killing me to see him like this right now. And there's nothing that my love will do for him because it will never erase the scars that you inflicted on him when you abandoned him. I never wanted to do that to him. And my daughter never wanted this to happen. Don't you dare go. If anyone in this room is to blame for what happened, it's you. It's you. You ran off and you left him. I never stopped loving my son. If I could go back and relive it all, I would change every bit of it, but I can't do that. Well, that's exactly how my daughter feels. I've made a mess of my life. I know that. I have to live with that. But I'm never going to leave him again, I promise. Save it, Carly. Save it for some poor slob who buys your blonde act. Come on, Jim. Barbara, I don't know if you want to leave on that note. So, do you feel the same way about me? We have a lot to talk about. But right now, Parker needs all our love and attention. How's he doing? They operated on him, Jack. Had him on a ventilator. He even stopped breathing. I was so scared. He's, uh... He's doing better now. He's, he's breathing on his own. Well, good. That's, uh, that's... That's good. When did you get here? A little while ago. When are you leaving? I'm not. I told you I'd come home as soon as I could. You told me a lot of things. Jack. Does Winston Lowe know that you made that promise? How do you know about Winston? Well, is he here? I'd love to meet him. It's only fair, right? For you to introduce me to your husband. So was I. No, actually, I'm glad. I'm glad that you know about Winston. I've wanted this moment for so long. I can finally be completely open with you and explain everything Yeah, well, that you. moment came and went. I know that must have been hard for you, keeping a secret like that. Because I know how much you love being open and above board. No, there's a lot to explain here. So, where is your better half? Not here. Couldn't make the trip, huh? So I had to stay home and count as illegal yen? Actually, Winston's... is dead. <laughs> Funny, Jack. First, he's non-existent. Now he's dead. Come on, that is kind of funny, don't you think? I gotta hand it to you, Carly. Your your husbands do tend to come and go. I don't have a husband. I'm a widow. I'm free. Are you? Really? You're sure? Yes. Do you think I would lie about that? Oh, why not? You lied about everything else. Well, Jack, he's really dead. <laughs>